How's it going Forex traders? Is yours truly that Paul Willis? Now guys, in this video, I want to share with you guys how I became so good at predicting and forecasting the Forex market and how, you know, I use my focus and my predictions to make a lot of money. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going through your Forex journey and trust me, it's not easy. I know this. You have to understand that I've been doing it for 11 years and the first two and a half to three years of my trading career were absolutely horrible. Like I used to cry, I used to be sad, I'll put in money, I'll never be able to rejoice. it. Why? Because it was blown accounts, blown accounts. But as time went on, I developed a set of skills, okay, from price action to risk management to, you know, I, de I developed some skills that literally helped me extract money from the market on a consistent basis. Yes, I say this with utmost confidence because for those of you guys who follow my channel, you see me come on here. Literally, before I get into any trade, place any trade, I come on my YouTube channel and then I, you know, predict the market. And you guys can testify to the fact that I am correct nine out of ten times. So how does somebody go from, you know, blowing a lot of accounts to becoming so profitable in the forex market there was you know there were a series of things that i had to learn along the way that literally you know helped me transition from where i was in my mom's house um you know absolutely struggling and crying to becoming one of the most successful forex traders you see on the internet with verifiable results how did i go from that obviously to living in dubai and you know living the dream life that every single forex trader wants so guys if you are interested in you know taking your trading to the next level if indeed you're interested in you know you know, you, you, you want to really take this thing seriously and you're just tired. All I ask from you guys today is just to stick around to the very end of this video. Let me explain to you guys my progression path and hopefully my progression path can also impact you guys so that you guys can obviously, if you, you know, just make some tweaks here and there, you know, and hopefully educate you guys as to how you can improve your trading overall. So once again, guys, don't go anywhere. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I suggest you do so. And once again, if you've made a lot of money, at least some money from the YouTube channel in regards to my analysis, uh, whereby I predicted, and guys, I mean, like I said, I'm a current nine out of 10 times. If you have made money from this channel, all I need for me to do is drop a comment below and said and just say thank you daps or just say something like I made money from that that Paul Willis's channel give me some you know because I know I do this week in week out and I give you guys all this analysis and I literally pour out my heart here so all I need from you guys is a comment down below anyways guys enough of that let's jump into the video let's go okay right, so let's 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 actually break this thing down into into little chunks as you can see I'm trying to get a bit comfortable man I'm trying to get a bit wiggly wiggly right so guys um the i feel like the very first thing that literally helps me stand out from a lot of the traders out there that literally helps me predict the market so profitably so you know not just profitably but on a very consistent basis is the fact that i have put in so the very first thing as to how i got so good at trading is the amount of chart time i have put into this game guys you have to understand that in my early days as a university student right every little opportunity i got i was always on my charts Every opportunity I got, I was watching content. I was consuming videos. Even while I was eating, literally, I'll be eating my Indomie, like my noodles, right? I'll be eating my, my stuff after uni and after class. Guys, 4.30 a.m., my laptop, I used to sleep off watching Forex videos. I used to sleep off analyzing the charts. Now, what this really did for me was to basically help me understand what they call market cycles, okay it's just a classic case of i've seen things happen way too many times so once i open the chart now it's almost second nature to me like once i see it, i already know what's going to happen i can tell a stop loss before the stop i can tell a setup a trade setup that is most likely going to stop me out before it even happens what do i mean by this for instance i can open a gbp usd chart now and i can do an analysis and i can literally see a setup and just from the way the market is just moving around, 
sorry guys there was a little break in transmission there so just from the way the market is moving around you know the support and resistance area just the way the market is misbehaving i can literally tell like mm, this guy is most likely going to be a losing trade because chances are that i've seen it happen before and chances that are, are that i have literally probably taken the trade like that in the future in the in the past and it probably stopped me out same way i can literally see a setup that's about to happen and i can literally say like okay this is most likely going to be a winner, you know? So all of this, come, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this and tell you guys, oh, you know, you can become a millionaire overnight, all that. Guys, one of the things that really, really helped me was my dedication to the charts. I have put in a significant amount of hours looking at the charts. But you're probably saying to yourself like, hey Dabs, I'm new to the game. I've probably been doing this three, four, five, six months, one year. I haven't put in as much time as you have. And, you know, I want to, be able to you know at least become as good as you so what i've done is most of you guys who watch this um follow me on my youtube channel you're already familiar with the forex mastery program what i did on the course was very simple i literally compressed 11 years worth of chart time 11 years worth of experience literally i summarized it into 12 different modules put it together as a course and i've literally published it on the internet for you guys the program goes for just 99 dollars for those of you guys who are interested the link is going to be down below what this will help you do is it will help you cut your learning curve in half so what took me 11 years to learn the course to literally compress it and you probably learn how to do it in what two to three weeks so once again guys the link is always around here somewhere feel free to click the link down below and grab the program but enough about that chart time i have put in a significant amount of time into this game so before anything happens i already know this is why i can come on my youtube channel and i can tell people like hey this guy is suspect i suspect this guy why because my inner feeling tells me like yo you know, I've seen this guy before. This guy is probably going to be a loser. Or I've seen this guy before. Or I can tell people like this. Or I can tell you like, literally, wait for a market manipulation to happen before you jump into this trade. Okay? Usually, I like situations whereby the market goes to run stops. Now, I want you guys to listen, right? There are certain situations whereby you can, and I want you guys to really listen to this. This part is very important. This is what I like to do. Sometimes, maybe seven out of 10 times, when I see a setup, right? I like for this setup to run stops. What does this mean? I like for this setup to act like it wants to trigger an entry, but I don't trade it. I like for it to fake all the new traders into the trade, stop them out, and then start heading back down in its original direction. Then, then I would like to get into the trade because you know, when you've spent a lot of time in the game, you start to ask yourself, but my analysis was correct. I got into the trade when I should get. Baby Pips told me, get into the trade now and blah, blah, blah. But I still keep getting stopped out. The reason is very simple. I mean, I, mean, I speak about market manipulation on the Forex Mastery Program, which if you haven't gotten by now, the link's around here, you should get it. But my point is, think about it. For all the times you've wanted to get into a trade and it stopped you out, you know, you're just frustrated, like what the hell is going? So I now realize that, yo, listen, they are trapped in this game. So I stopped. I was I stopped being eager to get into trades. I started relaxing. I started looking at the whole thing as a hunter, you know? I hunt this shit, boy. You get what I'm saying? With my helmet, with my this, I'm, I'm moving around. I only come out to take down the most like the most, like I need that trade to be clear cut. Okay, and usually I'll allow the market fall into my trap. I stopped falling into the market's trap at traps and I started allowing the market fall into my traps. Like I said, once again, I allow the market to fake out all the new traders, stop them out, and as the market is about to start heading in the direction that it's supposed to be heading, then I get into the trade. Why? Because now I know for certain that at least I'm sure that 95% positive that this market has done what it wants to do. It stopped out all the people and now it is ready to head in my direction. And this is one of the reasons why I'm actually so accurate and I make millions of dollars in the game. When I mean tremendous amount of pay, sorry guys, I don't know why my camera keeps timing off, but that's absolutely, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay, I think I know I put this setting, guys. My camera is setting up. I think I put it to five minutes. Anyways, that's by the way. So guys, back to what I was saying. 
So I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to take 100 pips, 50 pips, you know, here and there. No, no, no. I go for the big guns. I'm talking 2,000 pips. I, pred I just predicted the collapse of GBP USD from the top to the bottom. That was a 2,000 pip drop, probably 2.5 even, right? Those are the moves that I like to predict, okay? And I'm able to make tremendous amount of pips by still keeping my risk as low as 50 to 70 pips. So just do the math. I mean, this is literally trades of a, with a risk to reward ratio of 10 to one. Literally on one trade, while still keeping my risk low, I can return 50% of my account or probably even double it on one trade and still keep my risk low. Now, how am I able to do that? There's something called zooming out. It's so simple and straightforward. And once again, I preach about this on the Forex Mastery program. It's literally module five. It's called the top-down analysis, right? So what this actually helps me do is, guys, you have to understand that whatever move you're seeing on lower time frames actually start off on the higher time frame. Yes, the higher time frame sets the precedence for the lower time frame. So I'm not going to bother myself with the lower time frame noise that much. Yes, I do come to lower time frames to execute my trades, to get into the trades. However, I would first of all kick off my analysis from the higher time frame. It's called zooming out. I want you guys to look at this as Google Maps. I know I keep talking about this, but I'll keep preaching until traders actually start to do things properly. Because the, the, the most realistic approach to this is actually zooming out. Think about it. You're driving somewhere and you're driving without Google Maps. You will get lost. Most traders, do you know, let me tell you what you, most traders are doing. They're literally driving from street to street. Imagine trying to drive from one city to another city and you're just driving from street. You have no map. That's what most traders are doing. But the moment you have the ability to zoom out... Now you have a map. Now you know where exactly it's going. I give you, like, this is why I'm right nine out of ten times. This is why I can literally come and say Bitcoin will collapse. Bitcoin, I predicted the collapse of Bitcoin from, what, 40K to 27K. I literally dropped Bitcoin on its head. Psh, freaking hell, it's Bitcoin. Everybody's like, oh, how do you know? Zoomed out. GBPU is going to zoom out. All your prices were going to go up. How did I know? I just simply zoomed out. It's called the top-down analysis. Once again, guys, the link to the program is always around here somewhere. Learn how to zoom out. This zooming out is what is going to separate you from the losing guys. Zooming out is what's going to help you understand when it is time for you to start looking at trading opportunities. Zooming out is what's going to help you understand when not to be in the market. Zooming out is what's going to help you understand when the market is trending. Because don't forget, guys, the market only trends 40% of the time. So the remaining 60% of the time, the market is ranging and it becomes extremely difficult for you guys to trade ranging markets. So this is exactly how I know when to stay away from tough market conditions. Do you know how to do that? Most traders don't. You don't always have to constantly be analyzing because you're going up against a ranging game. You don't know where the market is going to, but simply zooming out and doing what they call a top-down analysis will help you understand that, okay, now is not the time to trade this game. Now is the time to relax and go and spend time with my family. Okay, you know what I'm saying, guys? So, you know, that's another thing that really, really has helped me. Sorry, guys, I keep looking at my screen. I just don't want to miss anything. So, yes, my ability to zoom out. Once again, the move actually starts from the higher time frame and trickles down to a lower time frame. So, don't forget this, guys. Like I said, you want to learn all of this more in detail. From a more technical standpoint, I speak about it extensively on the Forex Mastery Program, which you can get in the link down below. Guys, another thing that really helps me stand out in this game, okay? Another thing that really helps now, so we just spoke about why it is important for you to zoom out so that at least you can see the bigger picture and be able to consume and eat all the pits from a, from a larger standpoint, right? Another thing that really helps me make a lot of money in this market is the fact that I allow my lower time frame trades run into higher time frames. So what does this mean? Simple. First of all, Forex... Yeah, once again, my camera cut off, but back to what I was saying. <laughs> Forex Mastery students, you guys know this. Once we do our analysis on a lower, on a higher time frame, we don't trade on higher time frames. We anticipate the direction because we all know that the higher time frames give us a clearer direction, correct? Well, everybody's established that, right? If the market is saying it's going to go down on a higher time frame, chances are that it's going to go down. 
Now, once we're done with that, we then scale to lower time frames to find entries. Because once we come on lower time frames to find entries, then only then can we now refine the entries in such a way whereby we can risk this little because i mean if you're executing on higher time frames your risk is going to be very high which is not worth it at the end of the day the idea is higher time frames direction lower time frames entry so we can risk this little now when you're risking let's give an example 50 pips right we we can see gbp usd wants to fall 2000 pips but like we said our sell trades are not going to go beyond the high time frame we're going to come on the lower time frame to look for selling opportunities don't forget the almighty higher time frame is saying down good now we come to a lower time frame and we now find a trading opportunity now mind you because the higher time frame is saying down we should only be looking for sell opportunities on the lower time frame now once we come on the lower time frame and you know we can see spot a sell opportunities spell or sell opportunity what we then do is simple we get into the trade with a small stop loss when we jump into the trade okay and the trade starts to yield us profit we move our stop losses and move it to break even now what we then do after this is we hold on to that trade don't forget the big boy said he wants to move 2k pips right so we hold on to that trade and then when we want to monitor our trade we then scale back to maybe like a daily time frame and we basically allow our lower time frame trade flow into the higher time frame trade and we start now looking at our trade from a higher time frame perspective of 2000 pips i hope this makes sense to you guys so this is exactly how you can go from go about risking 50 pips and then as the market gives you profit, you lock in that 50 move your stop loss to break even. And then you now skip because if you keep looking at lower time frame, you feel, oh, I've made enough pips. Now, lower time frame, and then we allow our lower time frame trade flow into the bigger time frame perspective. And now we're pushing for a large sum of pips or maybe 1,000 or 2,000 pips. This is exactly what has helped me make a lot of money. This way, I don't need to trade many times. I don't always have to be in front of my screen clicking. This way, the market works for Dapo Willis. The market has to work for me. I don't work for no market, okay? The way I predict the market, the market needs to work for me. I've been doing this for 11 years. I know exactly what's going to happen from the top-down analysis, right? So the market needs to high lower time frame entries, and then it flows into the higher time frame. So all my job, literally all I do is just come and lock in profit every day. Isn't that fantastic? Once again, you want to learn how to do that? Click the link down below. I speak about this in detail in the Forex Mastery program. Do yourself a favor and get that. So yeah, I just spoke about that. I always allow my trades flow from lower time frame into higher time frame. Don't forget, you must analyze from the higher time frame. That is what is going to give you the direction. Once you're done with this, come to lower time frame, execute, and then go back to higher time and let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Okay, guys, over to the next point. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's quickly summarize everything we've spoken about today. I don't want to take too much of your time and, you know, stuff like that. Now, guys, you know, to summarize everything once again, um, trading was a hassle. Trading was stressful. It was crazy. I used to hate it, but now I love it. Now it makes me a lot of money, and now it's literally helping me afford the amazing lifestyle that I have today. So, guys, one last thing that I need you guys to understand when it comes to trading is this. You see those setups that you're looking at, Right? entries and exit what i like to do is i when it comes to my entries i like to look for the most obvious trade setups and this is why i only like to trade the majors gbp usd aud usd euro usd and because why it is obvious i'm not trying to act like i'm the most technically skilled trader which i believe i am but i've been doing this 11 years but yet i still look out for the most obvious trade setups and even when the obvious trade setups are core, I still view every trade setup as a trap. The market wants to eat my money. So even when I'm going into these setups, I'm very careful. Like I said, I like for the market to, it needs to just praise, it needs to knock on my door like, yo, that's the do, man. Come on, I got a trade setup for you. What are you doing? Like the trade setup needs to knock on my door. 
that's you wake up it's time to go if the market trade setup doesn't do that if meaning that it needs to be extremely obvious if i don't have a setup like that guys best believe oh my, i will fold my hands man oh my, i ain't trading this market for no reason you know what i'm saying like the market needs to tell me boy the market needs to be like yo that's we need you man <laughs> we need you man you know what i'm saying so if the market doesn't do that trust me guys i'm going to allow the market go to where it wants to go to. i'm never in a hurry there will always be so many trading opportunities okay so guys that's pretty much my advice um when it comes to throw with my camera that's pretty much my advice when it comes to trading the markets sorry guys camera is praying up again anyways guys so like i said that's pretty much my advice when it comes to trading i only want to trade the most obvious setups and i view every single one of them as a trap now guys this video i mean i don't really like to make my youtube videos that long so that i don't bore you guys once again guys if you want to you know learn how to trade the market in the most realistic way possible you want to learn how to make millions in the market without actually having to stress yourself and stress your life the forex mastery program is around here somewhere i suggest you go ahead and grab it whereby i I can speak to you guys in more detail my videos are quite lengthy people always complain like why do you talk so much yes i don't want to talk too much so obviously i have to put together the program so that you guys can learn in detail once again my name is dapper willis um for those of you guys who want to keep up with my analysis don't forget to subscribe if you found this video helpful drop me a comment down below if you've made money watching this channel please don't hesitate to drop a very nice and encouraging comment because these videos take a lot of out of me for me to get done so let me quickly recap chart time ability to zoom out allow your trades running from lower time frame to higher time frame i only trade the most obvious setups um there's always going to be a catch to these entries of course risk management i always secure my profits no matter how little um allow trades running to um higher time frames which we've already spoken about last but not the least lower time frames are a distraction news nfp all those things don't work signals indicators they do not work all those things are all a gimmick what you need to learn how to do is a top-down analysis from higher time frame to lower time frame execute on lower time frame and then head back to higher time frame and then allow the market breed once again is yours truly dapolis and that's my time thank you very much love you guys and peace out